shall now reenact how the kiss went. Ready? And action. Watch this. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ken and Brown Night, bro. Today, we're going to be reacting to Swoozy, my situationships. Y'all know Swoozy, the OG, the mega OG, one of the real animators before. Oh, I was watching it do when I was a teenager, like 13, 12. That is how far I remember watching Swoozy, but but we about to go ahead and get into it. Do any of y'all actually know what situationships are? No? <laughs> me neither. This is a very personal story, so please go easy on me in the comment section. My life was so convoluted at this point, even my GPS was looking at me like, <laughs> bro, you done effed up. Okay, so situationship. It's when you're in a relationship, but you're not. I mean, you're dating, but you're not dating. Because here's how it goes every time. You say to yourself, hmm. Situationship. When y'all do relationship thing, but don't hold a title. I mean, I guess that's what it is. So, I think that's what it is. This person's kind of cute. The next thing you know, you're cuddling watching Netflix, and then BAM! Situationship. It's like walking into a grocery store, and you don't want to commit to that basket. You just say, you know what? I need a few things. I don't need a whole basket. And next thing you know, you're over here like. <laughs> Bro, that how I be in the store for real. I be like, I can just carry all this shit. But I have to turn around and get a whole damn buggy. If we've had that commitment conversation, then rules are set. And I stick to those rules. So in most modern relationships nowadays, situationships happen before you get in a relationship. In this story, this situationship happened after the relationship ended. Let me explain. You have that window where you're dating somebody and you break up with them and then that pain is just, it hurts so much and then you somehow end up back with that person. Terrible idea and y'all break up and that pain just burns so much and then you get back together and then you break up again and then you say, let's take it slow. That's the window we're talking about right now. Things in the relationship got really, 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 really bad to the point to where my friends are like, dude, get out. Her friends are like, dude, she's not good for you. Get out. The last <laughs> thing I will say in this scenario is she was a very... I think he was trying to say it the other way around, but he was still thinking about his friend's side of the story. Vengeful person. We would have a misunderstanding, and before she would even address it or let me know that there's an issue, she would already do something to outdo whatever she thought I did. All right, so break up, get back together, break... Bro, that's an automatic down cut off. Your ass trying to use the force, but you, the force ain't guiding you. The sift guiding your ass, because ain't no way in the hell. Uh-uh. Break up, get back together, break up, and let's work it out. That's where we're at in the story, okay? I leave town, and I fly to another state. I don't know. Let's say I go to New York. Me and my boy. His ass went back home to Florida. I go to this event. At the event, I'm posting on my Instagram, and then my friend who lives in New York is like, hey, how are you just gonna come to New York and not tell me you're coming to New York? Let's kick it. Me and my boy are getting something to eat after we leave. Meet us there. I was about to hit my girlfriend, who's not my girlfriend, and let her know that, hey, I'm about to meet up with some friends and my lady friend and get some food. But in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even dating this girl. And I'm in a group setting. I'm not gonna tell you about that one girl because it's gonna turn into a whole big problem. And like I told y'all, she'll take something and then she'll try to outdo it. So I'm not even trying to open up that can of Skippy peanut butter right now, okay? We're just locked, bro. We are, we're like, people are talking around us, but it's just background ambiance. I tell my friend girl about my situation with my girlfriend who's not my girlfriend. Night's winding down, me and my boy go outside and we call an Uber. My friend girl comes outside and she's like, what are you doing? Calling an Uber. No, you not. I'll give you a ride. Get in her car. I ain't gonna lie, I would've took that damn ride too. Fuck that shit. She pulls in for the Airbnb, she parks, I get out. She turns the car off and she gets out. What are you doing? I'm just gonna come inside for a little bit. No, you're not. We have a good three minute conversation of the, I'm just gonna, no, you're not. I'm just gonna, no, you're not. My boy just walks in. Me and friend girl go inside and we sit on the couch. My boy's already on the couch watching TV. So we sit down and we watch TV with him. Would you believe me if I told you that when it comes back from the commercial break, the TV show or movie that randomly happened to be playing out of the 100 channels is my girlfriend's favorite movie or TV show. It was like God or the universe is there like, mm-hmm, just a reminder. 
And I'm sitting here looking. You got a girl. Well, if you want to call it that, a situation ship. And at this, like, what? <clears throat> Out of all the available probabilities, like, what? After about three or four commercial breaks, my boy gets up from the couch and he's like. And I realized it. I would do the same shit. I'm like, it's obvious some tension in the room that y'all need to let let loose. So I'm just gonna let me go get my water. I'm just gonna. I would do the same way his boy did. It's obvious some tissue, tissue. So I mean some tension in the room, right? So I'm just gonna leave so all that can be released. I'm saying, bro. This moment that I am fully in the danger zone. Please go easy on me in the comment section, y'all. Talking about your life is very scary online nowadays. I'm gonna be 100% real with y'all because it feels like you're just giving the ether rope to hang you with later. So I'm just gonna be very real with y'all and let y'all know that right here in this video, okay? TV's playing, we're on the couch, full on danger zone, okay? So I think at this point, once she sees everything in motion, uh, she straddles me and starts kissing me. And I kiss her back. So yeah, that happened. Some of y'all are just like, bro, why are you making a production out of this? You're, you're technically single. In my mind, that's what I was saying too. If roles reversed, I would be furious. And this, this, was, this was a kiss. Okay, for comedic purposes, I shall now reenact how the kiss went. Ready, and action. Watch this. These are my confessions. You can't tell me it don't fit. It don't fit. Up until this point in my life, I had never ever allowed myself to get in a scenario or a situation like this. Ever. Okay, you gotta go. I got, we got, you got to go. Bye-bye, bitch. <laughs> Walked to the door. She turned around and she kissed me again. This time, I didn't really kiss her back as much. I was like, mm, okay, 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 okay. Good game, good game. Bye-bye. <laughs> rang a bell that could never game, be game. unrung. In relationships, I'm loyal to the soil. Is this cheating? I don't think it is. It's not. Are you going to keep trying to work it out? Like what? And then with each passing day, that guilt just started compounding, y'all. Like, it was unlike anything I had ever felt in my life. So I told myself I could either A, tell her what happened, and then I understand that at that point, she's going to make it her goal to outdo this. So if I tell her, the relationship's over. I could not tell her, and best case scenario, I have a lot of evidence that lets me know that based on the back four, back four that we've been trying, that even if we got back together, things are not gonna be good and I'm gonna end up working up with her anyway. So, so then I made the hard decision that I'm just gonna end it. So basically it was a lose-lose situation in the way you looked at it. Damn. I got back to town and I sat on this for about two weeks. That voice in my head, that feeling in my chest, it was every second of every day. So I make my decision. I go to her house and I just start laying it out for her. I'm like, listen, we've tried, it hasn't worked. We've tried, it hasn't worked. It's almost at a point to where I only try to get back with you because I can't deal with that pain of breaking up with you. But this time, I'm dropping the hammer, deading it. I can easily say that after going through that, I avoid all the danger. If I'm in a flirtationship with a girl and another girl slides in my DM, this is how I respond. Loyal to the soul. Patientship with a girl and another girl slides I in my read DM, it. this is how I respond. Okay, let me see. Hey, you, are you in Florida? <clears throat> I'm back and forth from the West Coast, but when I'm out on the East Coast, I'm usually in, I'm usually in Florida. We should meet up. Ah, ah. Oh, hey. Not gonna lie, talking to, a, talking to a girl at the moment. I had to check and see if it's okay with her. Linking with a new lady friend. Just trying to keep the respect. You guys are good, give guys a good name. That we talked, you was in temper, right? I totally respect that. If she's cool with it, I'm cool with it. Loyal to the soil. In closing, I will say, um, for any of my exes who, this sounds kind of familiar, break up, get back, and you're wondering, is this me that he's talking about? I will just say, it wasn't you. It was my other, other ex. 